What's up, everyone? GTA King here with GTA 5 video. I'm going to show you how to get cars to frame glitch with the facility method. The requirements are as follows. But before we get right into that stuff, remember to always subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, follow me on all social media platforms for the latest GTA glitches and updates. And to find out on the next modded car giveaways that I do, so make sure y'all are always subscribed with the notifications turned on. And let's get right on into this. You will need an apartment with the apartment heist set up going where you have the apartment heist invite in your job list on your phone. You want this green job right here as well in your phone. You will need a friend that has a car that he doesn't want to give you. Give me a car or a motorcycle, anything that you can put inside a facility. A second facility inside of there. Unfortunately, you cannot receive claims or AA trailers with this method. Um, only cars, you are limited. This ain't like an MOC method. Um, you also need a full facility with seven cars in there, and you will need a street car in there for every car you don't mind losing. So you will need a street car in there with no insurance for every car you're going to be receiving. So for every car you're going to receive, you need a street car that you don't mind losing. So now we just want to make our way inside our friend's nightclub to his tear by garage level. Now like I said, the apartment heist is required to have it, but it's also going to be kind of optional and you'll see what I mean once I get inside my friend's uh, nightclub here. Once we're inside, my friend just wants to go over to a stair bite and hover over and enter with nearby friends and crew. You don't have to be right beside them, but you just want to be in close proximity so you can get the option. From here, you want to open the pause menu, go to online, jobs, play a job, box on created, missions, and I have a job. You want to hover over this alert when your friend's hovering over. Or enter a nearby friends and crew, and on the count of three, you all want to press A on the options at the same time. So it's one, two, three. Now he's gonna go inside his terabyte, and you're gonna go inside the job. When you back out, one of two things will happen. If you spawn outside the nightclub, you're good. You're OTR. If you spawn inside the nightclub, that is when you're going to need the invite to the apartment heist. So we spawned inside his nightclub, so he's going to take the apartment invite. Now, with the type of heist I'm using, we can only have one setup left. I do have a cutscene that's going to try to make you watch, and I'm just going to put me to a job menu. I'm just going to back out, and I'm going to walk outside. Depends on which apartment heist you have set up. Oh. Yeah, it should not mess you up at all. So I just want to make my way outside. And I do not want to go into the garage. So you want to make sure you go outside. And as you see, my mini map is glitched out. I'm OTR. The game thinks I'm in my friend's nightclub, even though I'm not. From here, you just want to call out a street car. And it's going to spawn over at your friend's nightclub. Now, I would go over there and put a sticky bomb on it myself. But, this may time go by fast. 
listeners so you don't have to watch a long video. My friend's gonna put the sticky bomb on there for me and then I'm gonna meet him at the facility. So I'm just gonna grab a street car and I'm gonna make my way over to the facility so he can flip me over. And I'm just gonna grab any street car but in the way there I'm gonna try to find a street car that has a flatter roof because it does work better but you do want a you do not want a street car that's gonna be too high off the ground. Now once you put that sticky bomb on the car, either you do or your friend, you make sure you do not want to press that left on D pad uh button to activate the sticky bomb too early because if you do it will mess up the glitch. Just know if you do get cops on you, you might want to call them off of you because of the fact that if you do die, you will no longer be OT OTR. You'll be back on radar. Remember guys, if y'all do find this glitch, don't fall on the red, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and share the video to all your friends on social media. And make sure you follow all my social media platforms to find the latest glitches and updates. In GTA Online, and keep in mind this glitch does work on all platforms on old gen and new gen GTA, so it does work on Grand Theft Auto 5 for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, and it does work on Xbox Grand Theft Auto 5 Expanded and Enhanced for Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. So I'm just going to try to find a better street car here for my friend to use. To flip me over. And I think I found a, a little bit of a better one right here. Has a flatter roof. Not too curved, and it's not too tall off the ground, and I just want to make my way up here to the facility. Sometimes it is tricky to tell when you have cops on you, so you have to look in the up right hand corner to make sure you don't have cops on you. Doesn't look like we do, so we are doing good, so we can keep on going to receive the call. If you do have cops on you, you just want to call, unless you have them remove the cops or you want to register as a CEO, and you just buy the forwardings. Now that we're here at the facility, if you see this yellow halo, this is where you want to park your car. I'm going to show you how to do it. You want to open up the interactions menu, and you want to come around a certain way, and you want to park it right here on the roof, and when I drop the interactions menu, I will be on that full screen alert, and that's when my friend wants to flip me over. So on the count of three, I'm going to drop the interactions menu. One, two, three. And now I just want to sit on this alert until my friend lets me know that I'm flipped over. 
either want to be on my side or on my roof. And the longer you sit on the screen, you can't get kicked for being idle. So I look like I am flipped. So I'm going to press A on the controller. And it'll open up the interactions menu. Because sometimes you can get stuff inside the facility depends on which side of the car you get out on and if you're too close to the facility it will suck you in if you get too close now my friend wants to go ahead and blow up my street car for me by activating that sticky bomb and then he wants to park the car on the yellow halo that i'm receiving now you place the sticky bomb on the car yourself you just want to go ahead and blow it up at this time. From here, you just want to make your way over to your friend's car. Hop inside of it. And you get sucked in as long as you park it the right way. And like I said, this is a glitch that you will have to redo the OTR method over again. You do not say OTR. And then from here, you just want to press B and A. You just want to press B and A because now the car is inside my facility. And I will show you that it is. Now, I can't drive it out at this time because if I do, it will break up on me and it will kick me out of the car. I will have to force the game save and then leave and then rejoin the lobby to be able to drive it. But if I'm receiving more than one car, all I would do is go and re glitch out again and I would use my next street car. But you do see the car is inside my facility and I'm going to walk outside and show you that my friend still has the car so you know he did not lose it so you did see the car inside of my facility so now I'm going to come outside and it is the exact same car and it just makes a carbon copy of it So as you see, my friend does still have the car, and he is still able to drive it, he still owns it, but it's also inside my facility, and if y'all did find this list successful, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and follow all my social media platforms.